If you are trying to reach predator rank in season 1, you might not reach it. It's not because you don't have the skills or don't know how to play, it's because hackers are taking over Apex Mobile's ranked. This was a problem before too, people would be running soft hacks, it's very hard to identify the hackers and report them. But in the past few days, you can see a lot of hackers running around and killing people in the game. And this happens mostly in high diamond ranks, diamond 3 and above. You can see these hackers teaming up with leaderboard predator players and trying to gain points for them. I'll play some clips that I gathered while we talk about this. As you can see on your screen, these are pure aimbots. These guys are killing players across the map with 100 accuracy and the game's anti-cheat is still not picking these up. And it's really hard to tell if someone's cheating or not if you died close range because of the latency, ping issues and lag issues that are in the game. So you can't falsely accuse someone for hacking. So you decide to spectate them and find out if they are hacking or not. Guess what? The spectate screen is bugged. All the buttons disappears when you click spectate and if you find out them hacking, you can't really report them because of this bug. So you decide to search up their name so you can report them for hacking or getting boosted. If you go to their profile, click report, you can't really report them for hacking. You can only report them for inappropriate profile. So even if you do that, they are not going to ban them or give penalty because their profile is clean but they were hacking or getting boosted by their friends. So you have no options at this point to report them. That's how so many cheaters are still playing the game and not getting banned. I personally went up against multiple hacker squads during my predator rank grind. Every time when I see a predator and diamond teaming up and appearing in champion squad, we would play it safe. That's how I met this guy. He's at number 7 in the leaderboards. He and his diamond friend teamed up, appeared in champion squad. My team decided to play it safe. At the end of first round, there were only 6 squads left, including us. And we confirmed these guys are hacking. So we decided to play for placements. When we got to second place, we got instantly beamed across the map. That's how we died and that match ended in 10 minutes. He got at least 50 plus points for that in 10 minutes. This is against another hacker, we got 3rd place so I recorded this. As you can see the hacker is aimbotting and killing the other team so I reported him. 3 days later I got a mail saying he got a penalty for cheating. 3 days is a long time. At that point he already ruined enough people's experience and there's no point in banning him. The anti-cheat should be automatic or at least it should be faster when we report them. When we report a player, it should analyze the profile immediately and handing out ban as soon as it can. That's how anti-cheat should work. And talking about predator, it's because the cheaters are ruining the game. That's why it's really hard to reach predator now. And today, if you want to hit predator, you might have to reach 8700 points. That's just my prediction. So. If you want to reach Predator today, you need to get 8700 at least for the 750th place. And it's getting hard because of the cheaters. If they get rid of them, it would be really useful. And that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one.